even when uh, Rudolph played, you know, he wasn't good. He wasn't. He was another game manager, as Cam would say, right? Another a poor man's game manager at that, right? Um, prime time. It's a lot. Yeah, pro, yeah, prime time. I, it's this line is tricky for me. I have a question mark here, and I just want to put this out there. Obviously, a storied rivalry between Pittsburgh and Cincinnati. Randolph, uh, Mason Randolph is getting the start for Pittsburgh moving forward. Now we know Cincinnati's been hot with Brownie in the last couple three games. They got lucky here that last game. Uh, Higgins had an unbelievable play. Um, right there for a touchdown. They came back. Yeah. I think they were down three or four scores, and they scored three or four scores in the fourth quarter here um, against the last game to keep their playoff hopes alive. They're eight and six. Pittsburgh is still middling, as they do every year, um, until they figure it out. Why is this line so short, though? Like, you have Mason Randolph coming in. Rudolph. He hasn't played. Rudolph. Rudolph I'm sorry, Rudolph. He, he hasn't played crazy. meaningful ball since 2019. Yeah. You know, like he hasn't like he he's coming sparingly. I look back, but he hasn't played like the starter since, after starter since, since Miles, 2019. Uh, since Miles Garrett bonked him like, over the head. Bonked on the head, him. exactly. <laughs> right. And he's and he's not and like I would think a Cincinnati would at least be three. And I think the line was at two and a half. If yeah. I'm not mistaken. I mean, I'm assuming and I have a question that, mark. Yeah. Uh, this line doesn't make sense to me either, man. I don't um yeah, I feel like this is a no bet, but I, I like Cincinnati here in this spot. I think Cincinnati makes a lot of sense. Even when uh, Rudolph played, you know, he wasn't good. He wasn't – he was another game manager, as Cam would say, right? Another A poor man's game manager at that, right? So, man, I, I really I, – I, I, my gut is telling me Cincinnati. The line is telling me to stay away. Um, I have a slight lean here to Cincinnati. I just wanted to see what your boy, what you boys thought. I think Chase is going to be out this game. I think Chase is going to be out a couple games. He hasn't been ruled out, but I think he has a separated shoulder, so he's going to be a couple games out. Um, I was looking at T. Higgins here. I have a prop bet on T. Higgins over 58 and a half. I just by force feeding him, he's going to get the ball. Um, he's going to be the number one. Mitch, make it, uh, make a Fitzpatrick is out for the Steelers as well, so that opens up some deep balls here. Um, I think over the top here where they might take some shots. Um, I think 60, 58 and a half is a little bit low. They have some turnover on Pittsburgh, right? They're talking about, you know, getting rid of some of the coaching staff. Um, you got Pickens not blocking. Like, something in Pittsburgh is off. And obviously, it's important to Tomlin because a lot of people want Tomlin fired, which I think is just a travesty to have him fired. But, um, you know. It might be best uh, for everybody. It worked out for Mike McCarthy and the Packers. So, maybe it's just one of those things where it's time. Yeah, it could be that it's time, but you're not going to replace him with anybody else that's better. Like, it's just not. You know no, you I mean? might not. But remember, yeah. like, I, I, the Packers are happy with LaFleur and McCar McCarthy's happy with, uh, you know, in Dallas. So sometimes it just works out for both parties. Andy Reid, the Eagles are happy with how things turned out. I mean, sometimes it's just time. I, I, I didn't think it was happening in the middle of the year, but sitting here today, the week of Christmas – if you told me Mike Tomlin and Bill Belichick are both on the open market at the same time, it, like I, I would lean that way than them both coming back. Yeah. Yeah. No, I agree. I agree. So my first official bet for this game is um, let me bring it up so you guys can see it. Um, it will be T Higgins over 58 and a half yards uh, receiving. Um, he'll probably be the most bet player in this game, but I think it makes a lot of sense here for me. He's just going to be force fed. Um, his his targets skyrocketed once Chase went out that last game. So I think Browning is going to play smart and go to who his go to guy is. I do want to take a little bit of Cincinnati. The line scares me. Not going to lie. Um, so I'm going to stay off this bet for a while. But I'm going to be watching this line because I think I think I think the edge to, for Cincinnati in this game is huge. And again. More playoff talk. Not even not even the fact that this is a robbery, right? But Bengals are still in the in the game. They're eight and six. Um, Steelers need help. Um, oh, actually, no, never mind. 
Hunter, the loss to the Colts put the Steelers out of playoff position. Are the Steelers out of the playoffs? No, well, there's so many teams that are seven and seven. That last spot in the AFC is a doozy. You got the the Steelers, you got the Texans. I mean, there's a bunch of teams that can all get in that last spot. Yeah. Everyone's got to okay. keep winning. The Colts yeah, so are the still Steelers- alive, actually, believe it or not. Um, yeah, and the Steelers are just outside looking in pretty much. That's all. Yes, correct. Yeah, they're outside looking in. Okay, but the Bengals hold the sixth spot right now. So, another, again, another must-win game here for the Bengals. So, lean Bengals at minus two. Might take some action later in the week. Um, but I like I like the Bengals here. 